doing cabling, we're going to do this new tree guard system. We're going to need two braces that are the right diameter. So we're going to measure the diameter tree and kind of make an assumption. We're going to make it to where it's going to fit across and with a little bit of extra room to spare. So, you know, a good six inches to spare. That'll give it room to grow. We're going to use a thick enough uh, synthetic fiber rope that's made for this cabling system. We're going to need some tape and we're going to need a way to weave through. So these are the tools you're going to need along with a sharp knife or a razor blade. So the next tree we're going to go into is going to need to be cabled. When you look at the tree you're going to see that it's, it's an X current tree which means it should have one central leader. So you're going to see a hemlock that has two central leaders coming out of a lower position. And what happens is as the foliage grows on the outer lengths of the branches, it pulls the two main trunks away from each other and eventually it's too much for the split. It'll break and one side will fall almost every time. So to protect that situation from happening, especially when one side is pointed toward a house, what we're going to do is go up inside and do a cabling system. The old way of doing it was drilling holes through both sides of the tree putting in a threaded rod on each side with an eye bolt and then having cable spliced in between that would hold the tree statically. And as the tree grew and got bigger, that eventually would be too weak of a system to hold it any longer. And you'd have to go up, do a new system and cut the old system. Sometimes you could leave the old system, but anyway, eventually it causes problems. The new systems they have now, like the tree guard, we're gonna be able to wrap this around the tree and using both of these eyes right here I'm going to put the rope through I'm going to take this is like the Chinese finger cuff type of thing I'm going to hold this open I'm going to put my uh, rope in place and then I'm going to use this to thread back through itself down the length of this and it's going to be the same thing inside of here it's going to be like a Chinese finger cup when it pulls tighter it's going to get stronger first I'm going to weave it down through then I'm going to crisscross three or four times coming all the way through and all the way out and I'm going to go at least 16 inches of length inside that's going to make it to where it could hold a bus no problem whatsoever when the tree fails if it fails it's going to hold itself in place It'll alert the people that live there that something's wrong by exposing these tags. These tags will expose themselves once it pulls tight and they'll know that something's gone wrong up there. They'll have the arbors come out and fix it later.